Motherfuckers always asking me, hood, you a big boy, where you get your confidence from? I be like, I caught it on set at the 99 cent store, motherfucker. Y'all ready to slide into some of these hood facts? Hey, what's up with y'all today? Anyway, so I was sitting here and I was chilling, and I was reading on Facebook about this fat girl that went to the prom, and everybody was cracking jokes on her about you know she's so fat you know she need to lose weight and you know like look at her who want to date her and that brought me to my video for today damn you so fat what <laughs> but anyway on a serious tip i want to make a, a video encouraging big people I'm a big boy myself, and I know y'all can look at me and see that I'm a fat ass dude. <laughs> but one thing that I don't have, two things, one thing I don't have and one thing I do have, <clears throat> one thing I don't have is low self-esteem. I've never been the person that's been like, oh, you big, and you wanna look up, go around skinny people, don't you feel embarrassed? Don't you feel ashamed of your size? And I don't let people get to me. And one thing I do have is a I don't give a fuck attitude. My mama always told me as a kid, Jeremy, you need to do something about that attitude. And mister, I don't give a fuck. I don't care about that. You need to change that. And that's one thing that I'm glad I did not listen to my mama. My mama used to tell me to change my I don't give a care attitude. And I'm glad I was disobedient and didn't listen to her. Because if I would have listened to my mama, maybe I would have low self-esteem now. I know you just see my little arm. Um, intro that I made in the dollar store about confidence people forever always tell me where you get your confidence from it's like the way I was raised not caring not giving a fuck and I hate to see like a fat person if they do a video of a fat person do a photo shoot and then the first every time you go to the comments go let a fat person do something and then go to the comments the first thing they said oh man where they get that confidence from oh my god where they get that confidence from what the fuck? Did your parents tell you you were fucked up when you was a kid? That you looked a mess? That you was bad off? What the hell? When I see, I know this is going to sound rude and mean, but hey, this is what it is. When I see stories on Facebook of skinny people, skinny people, when they have diabetes, I ain't going to lie. I be like, you got diabetes? What the hell? You got the sugar? And I, I don't laugh and judge, but I smirk like, hmm, ain't that weird. And then when I see uh, skinny people like 30 and 25 and 30 and stuff dying of heart attacks, like you got high cholesterol and you died of a heart attack and you skinny, that's supposed to be the fat person. The fat person supposed to be the one that died at 29 and 30 of a heart attack. The fat person supposed to be the one with diabetes. The fat person, when I see fat people, when, hold on, when I see skinny people and they go to the gym a lot and work out a lot and they single and they can't find a man or woman and then you look at the fat girl or the fat dude and he in a relationship, she in a relationship, I be like, hmm, you ain't got no, you can't find nobody. What's wrong with you? So fat people, don't hold your head down looking all sad and depressed because you be, have that confidence in yourself. Somebody wants you, somebody wanted me. I can be honest with you. I have, I, I, in my whole 20s, I was never single. I, sometimes I wish I was single now nice, so I can do things. <laughs> But I, somebody always wanted me. It was not no, I'm fat and I gotta pay somebody to be with me. It's because I don't walk with my head down. I don't walk feeling sorry for myself. Now, I wanna lose weight and I wanna eat healthy. It's not because I wanna do it for to make somebody be with me. It's not that I wanna do it to make folks wanna be my friend. Or I need to lose weight just for folks to be my friend. Not at all. Or I want to lose weight because I want somebody to date me. Not at all. I want to lose weight or you know drop weight because I don't I don't want diabetes and I don't want my my blood pressure is ridiculous. Though, I ain't gonna lie, but I don't want my blood pressure to be to the point where I get a stroke or have a heart attack. I want to keep my weight down and drop pounds so I can stay healthy. That's the only thing I would encourage you if you fat <laughs> and you obese. If you know it's a health risk, you can't breathe, you can't sleep at night, you can't wash your ass out, you can't do nothing, then I would definitely suggest losing weight. But if you big and you confident in yourself and your health is not at risk right now and you feel good, you don't have to lose no weight. Wear that damn fat with pride. Be fat and pride. Fat and pride. <laughs> 
And when I was growing up, you know, the thing about me is, when I was growing up in Alabama, Adamsville High School, where I, was with, where I went to school at, <clears throat> a lot of people would try to crack that one joke on me. You can't tell me nothing about with your fat ass, and they throw fat jokes on me. And I got it all the time. I was never bullied in school, but people did call me fat. But one thing that helped me out is my mama telling me, Jeremy, you don't got that, you got that I don't care attitude, and I would joke they ass right up on the desk. See, one thing about me, they would try to crack them fat jokes on me and thought I was gonna hold my head down. Not at all. I would joke their ass right up under the desk and they said, oh no, don't joke Jeremy. Jeremy would jank your ass to the flow. <laughs> and so that's this the purpose of my whole video. You know, I, I just get so sick of the stereotype where if you see somebody fat, you know, oh, you fat, you can't pull nobody. I know a lot of people that's big and in relationships. I know a lot of people that's big and can still dress. I know a lot of people that's big and got good professionals and good careers and having good lives and they big. And I know a lot of people who's skinny and ain't got shit for themselves. So weight don't matter. It's all about the confidence you have in yourself. It's all about that confidence you have in yourself. I also, I'm reminded of this this uh, situation. In my life, I don't have a lot of story times for y'all, but I have, you know, a lot of shit that I experienced in the past. Um, back here, well, not back here. This was pro this 2016, probably 2009, 10, probably 2010. Anyway, I went to this party, right? And when I went to this party, I had called myself, got me a new little outfit, and me a little hat, and I was clean. <laughs> my fat ass was clean. And inside this party was a variety of people. But majority of the dudes in the party were either regular average size to muscle up, you know, six pack, like, you know, muscle up, whatever. And so I was the fattest person at the party. <laughs> That's not funny, the fattest person at the party. Anyway, I was the biggest boy at the party. But when I went to the party, I walked in the room, not saying I'm all that, because I ain't shit. Y'all know I tell y'all I ain't shit. But I went to the party and I had my confidence. I was in there, I wasn't trying to mack nobody. I wasn't trying to date nobody or nothing. But I will say this, that a lot of the skinny dudes in the party were like, look at your fat ass out there dancing. I was out there dancing. I was drinking. I was cracking jokes. I was just, not the life of the party, but I was just seeing. You, you saw me, because I, I was part of knacking the food. And a lot of the skinny dudes were just sitting up on the wall, looking all mad, looking at me like, his fat ass, he ain't doing shit. I can take, I can pull more to him. And that wasn't even the problem. <clears throat> it, I made them, I intimidated all them skinny dudes. Why? Because of my confidence in myself. I ain't got no low self-esteem. I don't walk around looking, people looking at me like, ooh, you fat. And also, I remind of this one more situation. I, it's just a lot of this situation that's funny. One time, I would meet my friend at C that CC Pizza at uh, Golden Corral, and it was a while ago. And when I got out of my car, <laughs> y'all, this was one of them days where I was having a fat day. When I got out of my car, it's like I had the hardest time getting out of my car. Like, damn, how yeah, this car got little? This car must have got smaller because the strong wheels in the way, my stomach was over here, my chest was over here, a titty was back up. I'm like, damn. Anyway, so when I got in the car, it, I saw these little kids were standing up there. They was waiting for a table. And so my friend said, Jeremy, when you got out of the car, them little kids were laughing at you. They were really laughing at you. But then uh, then he said, but I saw your crazy ass when you were walking to walking to the front. And you were laughing too. What the hell you were laughing at? I said, man, I was laughing at them ugly ass little kids, how ugly they were. And when I walked in the store and walked in, inside a golden corral, I looked down at them and, and made a face at them like, damn, y'all some ugly ass kids. What was the purpose of that? He would told me that they were laughing at me because I was fat. And I was laughing back at them because they was ugly as hell. <laughs> Why? Because all of that is my confidence in myself. I walk, I, if I go places with people, a lot of time I go places with people, and you know, if you fat, or we go to a lot of other fat person, if you go places with other fat people, they want you to walk in the room first. They want you to walk in the mall first. They want you to walk in the restaurant first because they don't want all the attention on them. Not me, I walk in that bitch, what's up? Hey, what's up? If we go to a buffet and eat, shit, my friend be sometimes, they be looking all shame, don't want people to look at them because they're the buffet and eat. Not me, I'm at that motherfucker, I paid my money to get in here and I'm finna eat, motherfucker. I'm not bagging away from the table. So, the whole moral of this whole video is this right here. Look at this collide that's called. It's the whole moral of this video right here. You gotta have confidence in yourself. 
You gotta have self-esteem in yourself. Somebody wants you. Just because you fat, they don't stop no fucking show. They don't stop nothing. Don't let your weight hold you down. If you feel like you want to lose weight, lose weight for health reasons only. Don't lose weight to pull nobody. Don't lose weight to make nobody look at you like, oh, you didn't want me when I was fat. Now I lost all the weight you want me. I don't have that mentality. I never had that mentality. I'm fat and I still can pull.